this is a brief overview for the full machine learning life cycle. So usually we'll begin by some data preparation, featureization, and then the data scientists will come in to develop different models. And here you can see MLflow is greatly helping starting from the model development phase. We can help lock those parameters, metrics, metadata in a programmatic way, and we can push the model to different stages from your dev to staging to production. And eventually it will help with the deployment and model serving as well. There's a MLflow tracking server. So I can easily store the parameters, metrics, artifacts, including like model or even a image or some CSV files, metadata and model information on here. I can connect it through notebooks, some local apps like Jupyter Notebook, and also some cloud jobs. I can easily view the results through UI, API, or query it programmatically through Spark data frame. So what is MLflow model registry? It actually is a central repository. You can create those unique named registered model for discovery across the data teams. And the workflow is usually like provides specific UI and also API for the registry operations. On the model registry tab, you can also see different model versioning. You may sometimes change the model by just a little bit, like a, some parameter change. So you can see model version one, two, three. So that allows multiple versions of model in different stages. You can push your model transition from none to staging to production or archived. It's also great with CI CD integration. It's easily uh, specify a version and you can just load it in to do your unit test and do some additional inspection. It's great for model lineage provides a model description lineage and also activities 